This is on the phone with Lazy Days RV, who owes us $2,100 because we refunded our, or we did a trade-in of our previous RV, so they owe us a check. And... But they were supposed to refund you um, uh, $2,100? Yeah, so we traded in our RV. Uh, and received a different RV that was valued less than the trade-in value. So they were supposed to write us a check for $2,100. Well, we've been fighting them, contacting them. We can't get a hold of anybody. And uh, this is what's happening. Okay, okay, $2,100. Okay, um, which you didn't get, so, uh, okay. Okay. This lady or man, whoever, whatever they identify as, has been just, like, being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep mumbling. You didn't get the $2,100. Correct. So, I've been trying to get the $2,100 for about a month now, and have not been able to get the $2,100, okay. so. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Well, did you feel that your advisor kept you informed on Lauren Blazer? What is it? Who? Did you feel? Did you feel that your advisor kept you informed concerning, I guess, uh, what, 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 your sale, or, or did you work with an advisor? You know, are you represented an advisor like Laura Blazer? She's listed as your advisor. No, I don't know who that is. Okay, so you don't know who a Laura Blazer is. You didn't work no. with Laura Blazer. Okay. No, I don't know Laura Blazer. Recommend, you wouldn't make, or recommend Laura Blazer because you didn't. Uh, you don't know who Laura Blazer. Okay. I don't know who she is. Do you? Who okay. is she? Okay, she she was supposed to be your advisor. Okay, I okay I I do okay I do not know. Okay. No. This is preposterous. <laughs> this is a survey, by the way. So they're not actually going to give me any okay, answers. So you do not know who Lauren Blazer is. Okay. I do not know Lauren Blazer. Well, if they like to lose money to a big corporation, then I guess I would not recommend them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, okay. And, they, and the reason why you won't recommend it, Laura, I mean, you won't recommend Lazy Days to your friends and family again is because um, I, uh, because you're, you're out of $2,100? I'm out of $2,100, and I don't know Lauren Blazer. So I think that's, okay, uh, you know. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. Well, maybe this survey will go through as customer service, you know, because right now their customer service hasn't worked at all. So a scale of zero to 10, where zero is uh, not at all likely and 10 is extremely likely. How would you rate your likelihood that you would recommend lazy days to your friends? Uh, probably about a one. Now, was your RV ready when promised? Well, that's another story. I don't know if you want me to tell you that story. That's This is crazy story. Okay. Well, you can tell me. So, was your RV ready when promised? You said no? So, the RV that we originally agreed upon, you know, we had to come mm -hmm. back like about a week later to pick up the RV. They were going to have it ready and do a walkthrough with us. Uh -huh. So, we agreed on our RV, had the contract and everything for it. Well... When we got to pick up our RV, which we're actually full-time RVers, so this was going to be our this was going to be our home. It wasn't the RV that we had decided to buy. It was a different RV, a different floor plan, and everything. Okay, well, was it better than the one you saw? It, it's a good RV, but it was then the same. It was a completely different floor plan, and so the price was higher. It was a different price. Okay. All this crazy stuff, okay. but because we, were, we we literally didn't have a home, so we actually were forced to buy the RV. It was preposterous. Okay, so, so, so you were forced to buy a more expensive RV. Yeah, we, because it's our, it's our home. Like, what, we weren't yeah. that, you know, we didn't have a choice. We literally had no choice because it's our house. So, okay, so, 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 so the R, so, well, uh, well, how do you want to answer this question? Was your RV ready when promised? Was it, uh... No, it was not, it was not ready. Okay, so, yeah. okay no. 
And the reason why is because that uh, the RV that you did get uh, uh, for your trade in was a, was one that was more expensive. Is that it? Yeah, it was more expensive. I mean, it's a nice RV, but it was more expensive. But we had no choice but to buy it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the uh, okay the uh, RV. Uh, 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 okay. That, uh, oh, that it takes so long to <laughs> enter a sentence. It's so ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> okay. uh, for, uh, was the was the RV that you uh, that you purchased? Um, uh, uh, in, in your trading of the old one, right? Correct, but when we showed up to pick it up, it wasn't the right RV, it was a different RV. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, this is, this is actually pretty standard for anything RV related. Like if you were doing literally anything in the RV industry, mechanic, getting a part ordered, getting service done, Literally anything, it's about this same experience. <laughs> Customer service because your hydraulic jacks are not working. That's a classic one. Same thing. No one knows anything, and they. So, so, so it was not the one that you that you that that uh, that you originally saw. Correct, the one that we agreed upon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it was not the one. And again, I want to reiterate, this is a survey and not actually customer service. But we did not call them. They called us. They called us, but the customer service the wouldn't call us that, back. Uh, they won't help us. That, that you purchased uh, in the trade-in for, um, for for your old RV was not the one that uh, that that that, uh, <laughs> that, we, that 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 you agreed upon. Is that correct? That is one hundred percent correct. <laughs> Well, in case my supervisor would like to verify, I spoke with your name now. Please have your name. The, the name on the uh, service is Mason and, Ash and Ashley Robinson. Is that all right? That's Mason and Ashley. that's fine. We prefer to minimize callbacks. I get a lot of calls from Lazy Days usually to do the survey. So if it's a okay. callback, I really want it to be for, okay. you know. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. okay. well they may uh, want to get in touch with you uh, about this. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's an RV, so it's not that great. It already has a bunch of issues, but hopefully their warranty is okay. So we'll see. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, take care, you and your wife. Enjoy the summer. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. And scene. Yeah.